Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a Tom Schulten inspired cityscape. It's going to be using our basic geometric shapes that we've been learning about and turning it into just a cityscape as a plan in colors. So for today, you're going to need paper, a ruler, and a pencil. All right, so we're going to be turning this page into a one by one inch grid. Now, gridding is really um, important in art. We use it a lot, especially as you um, advance in your drawing skills. So there's a few things that you have to understand when you're gridding a paper. And one of them is that you always measure from the same side. So if I start my measurements on this side at the top, I need to start my measurements also from the same side on the bottom. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to line it up. Now this is a clear ruler and you might not have one. And then the end of the ruler is not the zero point. It's actually where the zero is or the first line that you see. So I'm going to line mine up and I cut all my own paper so it's not perfect nine by twelves. But I'm gonna make a mark at the one and I'm gonna do it at every inch. The inch is the longest line right by the number, okay? So I'm gonna make a mark at every inch, one through 11. I'm not gonna do one at the 12 because it's the very end of the page. I'm gonna go all the way across. 11 and I stopped over here and then I'm not going to pick up my ruler I'm just going to slide my paper over I'm going to slide my ruler straight down I'm, and this is what I was talking about by measuring on the same side okay and then I'm going to make a mark again at every inch all the way down all right once I have all my marks at the top and at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and connect these. Now it's really important that your ruler doesn't shift when you're working. So the best bet is these three fingers, your thumb, your index finger, and your middle finger, you're gonna use the, those fingers to hold your ruler down and you always wanna spread them out, okay? So if you're right-handed, you know your pencil will be on the right side, your ruler should be with your left hand, and if you're left-handed, it will be vice versa the other way. All right, and I'm gonna move down my page, so I'm just going to line it up, and when you line these up, you wanna make sure that you see this mark, um, but it's right on the ruler, okay? So I lined those two up, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw all the way across, and I'm not gonna draw these lines super dark. That one's darker than it should be, but because we're going to be erasing most of them at some point, okay? So we're gonna use these lines as guides and for our color breaks, but, um, They'll probably end up being erased or some of them will be partially erased so you don't want to push really hard but you're going to go ahead and do this all the way down and where you hit every line that you've made All right, so you should have something that just looks like stripes. And then I'm gonna do uh, the same thing. I'm gonna measure again, and I'm gonna put this at the very top. And I'm gonna start on my left side, and I'm gonna measure every inch again, so like one through nine. And like my nine is way over here, and then there's some extras, and that's fine. Okay, so again, just it's not gonna be a perfect piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this every inch. And once that's done, I'm gonna slide it my paper up, I slide my ruler down. Remember, I want to stay measuring from the same side. You never spin your paper, okay? You always keep it the same direction and you just move it up or down and you move your ruler along with it. Then once I have all my inch marks this way, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna line them up, don't draw dark, and I'm gonna connect all of these lines from the top to the bottom of my page. All right, and that's it for gridding a one by one sheet of paper. All right, now that we have our grid, we're gonna create our city. And our city is just gonna be different height buildings. And if you want, you can have some of them with flat tops. You can have some of them with angled tops because these are gonna be triangles, rectangles, squares, okay? Um, and then you just kind of get to overlap them and figure out kind of what you wanna do from there. So I'm gonna start over on this side and I'm gonna start on my fourth one. You can start, you know, wherever you choose. Um, and I'm going to just use these, this grid as my guide. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go from this corner to this corner at a diagonal. And I'm going to go from here to here. And this is going to be one of the roofs of my building. And then I'm just going to use this line as my side of my building. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to add, say, you know, a bigger 
longer roof like this. And this would be the side of this building. And you're gonna continue this and you're gonna continue all of the buildings all the way across. Now they can be different heights, like I said, they can have flat tops if you choose. Um, and they can be overlapping. So you'll kind of figure out that how that works as you go along. Okay. All right, so this is the basics of my drawing portion. I am gonna still add some windows and doors. Now your windows and doors need to be proportional to your building, so you're not gonna have like a giant you know, door on here because that doesn't even make any sense, but you want to add them, and you don't have to necessarily add them inside these squares, you, know, you can add them where it goes in between the two. Um, so I'm gonna add those, and then I'll be done with the drawing portion of this project. All right, and I added my windows and my doors. I do want to note that my windows on my back buildings are smaller because they're further away than my windows on my front buildings, okay? And then our next video is going to show you guys how to color all of this.